The United States government, acting through the Department of Treasury's Office of Foreign Asset Control, also known as OFAC, will target and will designate an individual, a business, or a country on U.S. foreign policy and national security concerns. The designation can mean public humiliation and financial ruin. This form of economic warfare blocks, that is, freezes, the designee's assets, seeks to limit its international trade, and cut off all financial transactions that are subject to U.S. domestic or extraterritorial jurisdiction. It is an economic death penalty and can last a lifetime. When persons have been placed on the list, they're often confused as to why they're on the list in the first place. Many times one finds themselves on the list with absolutely no idea as to what they've done wrong. They're also confused as to how to challenge the designation. Some people will spend years trying to challenge a designation by going through the wrong channels. We've seen individuals try to challenge it through the U.S. State Department or the Department of Justice or even through the United Nations or the European Commission. OFAC is responsible for administering the list and OFAC is where one needs to challenge their designation. Our law firm is experienced in handling these matters. We challenge OFAC's designation and seek to have the individual, the business, or the country removed from the sanctions list. A word of caution, you must be patient. This process can take anywhere from a minimum of six months up to several years. OFAC is in the business of designation, not removal. The good news we know how OFAC works, and we know how to get you the best result. It just takes time to do it properly. I'm Douglas McNabb, senior partner with the law firm of McNabb Ferrari.